Hello guys and welcome to episode 4 of Project Pathos. Now if you didn't see the last series you can easily click the link down below and you can see the last series. Guys, thank you very much for the response again. It has been absolutely fantastic. Uh, I'm quite new to YouTube in a way so I'm, I'm just impressed. I'm very impressed. I'm, uh, I've been in the social media now with Football Manager for about a year now and the response has just been absolutely fantastic. Not just with YouTube but with, with Twitch and with uh, my designs and stuff like that. So if you are one of them guys that have appreciated me, thank you very, very much. So guys, yeah, let's see where we left ourselves off in episode three. Um, so as you can see, we are currently top of the league, which is amazing. Absolutely, I, I can't believe it myself because we are a mid-table side at the minute, but we're looking to try and boost up and uh, get into them Champions League spots and hopefully then qualify for the Champions League. But as you can see, guys, we've played five and we've got 12 points from them five. Now, I have moved myself down to the left uh, to the left corner, as you can see, because on the when I was up on the right-hand side, you couldn't see uh, I either player stats when I was talking about them in, in episode three. So as you can see, guys, at the minute, just to give you a bit of an overview, uh, we have got some games coming up. We've got uh, Docs and X uh, away, which is going to be a tough game because they are actually in second place as well. So it's first against second. Uh, but yeah, the player stats, uh, still Hepburn Murphy, uh, top of the uh, goal scoring chat, uh, chart with uh, with six goals. Our highest average rating player is Stefan Panic. We have João Aurelio on three assist. Um, our best pass completion player is Zay Carlos, our new player Zay Carlos. Most man of the matches is quite open at the minute. Um, no one, no one in front on that at the minute. Most yellow cards is Velarenos and four yellow cards. And worst disciplined, we have not had a red card yet in competitive matches, which is great. So guys, let's go to the games that we're playing today. So quickly, just show you the full league table before I go into the uh, schedule. But as you can see, played five, won four, lost one, of course. Um, uh, that was against uh, Apollon, and then uh, we've we've scored. Scored five, scored eight. Sorry, three only three against as well. So Woodcourt's played really well in that, um, and we've got twelve points from that. Let's see the games that we're playing today. So as you can see, we've had we have had them defeats in there as well, but we're on a pretty good run at the minute. Three unbeaten. Now we play Doxa away, and we play Ammonia at home. Now these are two very very tough tough games. Um, Ammonia haven't started that well. They've played for lost two and drawn, uh, lost two and won two. Um, but as you can see, we are playing Docks and Next, and uh, they've won three, drawn one, lost one. So guys, without further ado, let's get to the team selection and let's try and beat Doxer away. So guys, these are the tactics that we're going into the Doxer away game with. And as you can see, I've gone with a balanced side. Now the reason why I've gone with a balanced side because they are a second a second tier team at the minute in regards that they are just below us in second place. Um, so and it's very early stages, so we don't really know too much about them. But what we do know is that they do play a lot narrower. So we're going to play narrow as well. We're going to go with them. We're going to kind of go with them. I know we've got two wide players, but we are go we are going to be focusing more narrowly. Um, so we are going to kind of go through the middle in a way. Um, and. Rakels keeps his place up top without a doubt. We've got four just behind him as an attacking AM. Then we've got Kusik on the left, Zay Carlos on the right as two attacking wingers. And then, as you know, we've got a BWM and a BBM in Velikari and Punchin. Velikari is a guy that we can push up without a doubt. He's probably going to be one of our best players this season, Velikari. Uh, but yeah, we're going to see how it goes anyway. And then uh, Velarenos on the left of defence. Uh, Saez and Arajure in centre and Aurelio on the right with Rudko. Now, there's... To, a number of things that we could have done there. We could have bought Berrigade in up top. We could have bought even Marcelo Torres up top. And also Ashley Williams could have gone in central defence. But I just want to use a team that... like it's Certainly in regards to defence, I want to use a team that they already know, that the gel's already there. And as you can see, guys, the familiarity is now starting to go up slowly but surely. And then hopefully... You know, halfway through the season, we're going to start seeing some continuity lines going in there, um, you know, partnership lines. And yeah, we'll see how we go, guys. We'll see how we go. So anyway, let's get to this game. Let's let's try and get an away win. As you can see, guys, there's more green now going. A few concerns still, don't get me wrong. Uh, but listen, the familiarity is going to get there over time. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. Come on, Paphos. Here we go, guys. Here we go. I'm gonna do that because, uh, yeah, Firmino. You go Firmino. We're gonna do that. I have done the. I have done the opposition tactics again. Uh, I'm gonna be hands in pockets. I'm gonna be fairly good. Go out there and give the fan the money's worth. I think it's a good, uh, good way to be. Uh, I have faith in you. Always a good, uh, always a good 
taught to say, tactic to Both teams coming to this one in good form. How do you rate your chances ahead of kickoff? They're a very good team and we are going to relish the challenge. They are a very good team, I'm going to do that. Is Sam Hutchinson out because of his recent injury problems? Yes, he is, without a doubt. But he will be back, there's no doubt about it. Here we go, guys. Doxer against Pathos away. Not a big fan, not a lot of fans in there. Say Carlos. You can say, as you go for me, no? And it's well away there from Kusik. Be nice to keep that top spot, guys, in this uh, in this first game of this episode. As you can see, guys, we've not started off that well. To be fair, a little uh, little encouraged shout going out. Okay, so we're twenty minutes in, and as you can see, guys, there's not really too much going on. You know, the XG is the same. Nothing really to uh, nothing really to shout about to be fair. This is, uh, let's have a quick look of our players are playing as well. Um, again, very poor ratings at the minute. Nothing too much to worry about. It's a it's a uh, it's a very slow start to the game. And it, we, as I just say that, I thought it was on a highlight, but FM decided not to give us a highlight. Never mind, that's fine. They have a free kick, whips it in, and it's a goal for Martires Moke. Mot Teres, Mok Teres, which is a which is a uh, unusual name. Stefan has Mok Teres. That's a good goal over the top. Who was there? Not defending. It was Arizori. Arizori there, not getting too, not getting tight to his man, and it makes it one nil Doxa. Okay, a little demand more shout coming out, and it's another free kick from Doxa. Doxa whips it in, and it's well taken there from Rudko. Rudko should be playing out of defence. And he doesn't. He actually whacks it up route one. Rakel. Rakel's to four. Four to Kusik. What can Kusik do here? He hits it in. It comes into Zay Carlos. Zay Carlos with a shot and wins Pathos a corner. I mean, the man more shout now goes out. Vela carries on a yellow card. Vela Reynos whips it in. Comes back out to size. And nothing comes of it, I'm afraid. We do drop down into third at the minute. Is our Aurelario with a free kick and it's a great save from the doctor keeper Aurelario back in and it's a goal for oh it's offside it's offside why is it offside it didn't look offside to me <laughs> what happened there someone else was offside it was it was oh, yeah it's in line it's in it's in line with the uh, goalkeeper to be fair um, and it was Raykel's Raykel's in line with the goalkeeper no mind I was nearly cheering then 42 minutes in can we get a goal just before half time can we just push on a little bit just before half time Potentially, here's Aurelio. Aurelio with the one in long throws. Is Raykels? Raykels in ties Zay Carlos, but Zay Carlos is offside uh, with that knock on from Raykels. Okay, guys, we're going to there 1 0 down. As you can see, guys, not one player is over seven. So I'm going to give him a bit of a team talk, a bit of a not a nice team talk as well. And we're going to look at the instructions as well just to see what we can improve on a little bit. Okay, it's simple as show me something else in the second half, without a doubt. Show me something else. Defending uh, the defenders. We did okay. Uh, I have faith in you. I have faith in you. I have faith in all my players. So yeah, a lot of them seem motivated. That's all that matters. We're going to go into this one positive. Into the second half positive here. Rod Cole to ties. And it's not... It's, I don't like it when it gives you an... You think you're going to get a highlight and then you don't. Here's Aurelio with a long throw. And it is a long throw. What can we get out of this? Camillo size there with a with a with like a little uh, little glancing header really just over the bar and four hits it away. We're still one nil down here. Here's Raykel. Raykel Zay Carlos. This positive five might uh, look might we might do all right early in the second half here. Zay Carlos tries to whip it in and we're it's away. Comes back out to Aurelio. Aurelio over a lovely little ball over top to four. Four unlucky. It's actually four's birthday today actually. The the, the day I'm filming this so. That's a, it would be nice for him to get a goal on the day I'm filming. Okay, a little shout out going out, a little fire up shout out. And it's a free kick here, nice and work free kick, but it's away by Aurelio, who is on the yellow card, needs to look out for that. Here's Velarenos, Velarenos to Rudko. Aurelio, 
I'm really on the, the wings here. What a lovely ball like this. Zay Carlos. Zay Carlos is in. Can he get anything? Comes out to Dennis Rakels. Dennis Rakels can't get anything as well. Great save there. From Swarovski. Sounds like the Diamonds, Swarovski. Okay, 69 minutes in. Another shout out going out. And it's, it's going to be a demand more shout without a doubt. And what we're going to do, we are going to go to attacking. We're going to slightly go up on the tempo and the direction. Uh, we're going to be a little bit more expressive. Everything else is fine. We are countering. We're doing everything right, really. Um, tight marking, not really required. Not really required. If you use tight marking, you will put that intensity up. So, what? Try and keep the intensity at a level that it's already at. It's quite high as it is. Um, Velikari 6.4 is, is going to be coming off, <laughs> without a doubt. Velikari, he's, he's kind of playing out of position slightly. In a way, he can play in that central midfield role, but he is more of an attacking player, to be fair. Um, so, what we're going to do, we're going to bring on... Stefan Panic. Panic is uh, having a great having a great season so far in in the early stages. So we need to bring him in and see what he can do. Good player in real life, Panic. Okay, we are going to change it up at the back as well. So we're going to bring Derek Williams on for Aurelio, and then what we're going to do? We're going to put a jury on that right hand side because he can play right back. He can do a job at right back definitely, and uh, Derek Williams in the centre with Camilo size. Can we get a goal here? We need. I'd like. I'd like a draw at least here. I'd like a draw at least. Uh, a little encouraged shout going out. Everything else we're attacking. Everything else is fine at the minute. There's nothing else more we can do really. But uh, as you can see, guys, look at the stats, guys. The stats clearly show that we are so much in favour. It's just that the luck is not going for us. Ten shots, seven on target, one point two eight xg. It's it's all there. It's all there. We just can't. Maybe the last five minutes, I might push it up even more, but. They've got a corner here. Can they can they score against the against the attack? It's it's well away. Punching it's it away. Nothing comes of it. 86, 87, 88. Okay, let's uh we're just gonna have to go for it, guys, aren't we? We're just gonna have to go for it. Let's overlap overlap the two uh let's shoot on site. Let's go a little bit more direct up the tempo if we can a little bit. We'll still say stay staying narrow because that's how they're playing. Everything else is fine, nothing else really can do. Let's just go very attacking for the last three minutes. Can we get a goal there, guys? It's not looking likely unless Rudko can work a magic here. Williams, Williams, nothing comes of it. Can we nick that ball, guys? Can we nick the ball? And we do it. Velarenos, Velarenos to Kusik. Kusik, got 10 seconds to go. Come on, guys. Kusik, can we get a goal there? Kusik inside to Rakels, comes back out to Panic. Panic. Oh, and the referee blows his whistle while we're on the attack, more or less. I think he blew his whistle because we're going out towards the byline instead of going more centrally in. But, guys, unfortunately, that is a defeat. And it's a defeat against a good side. We had much better the game. Possession 59%. 7 out of the 11 shots on target. They only had 6 shots in total. The day, the luck just didn't go with us. It just did not go with us. As you can see, the individual stats as well, the individual ratings wasn't the best to be fair. A couple of greens ended up coming into play because at the beginning there wasn't any green. But as you can see, we took 63 fans to uh, Doxer as well. Uh, and guys, I'm a bit gutted really, but it is what it is. That does, let's go to the changing room. Let's, uh, I am not happy with the performance, but to be fair, I think, I think I'll go with the unlucky one instead because it, it was unlucky. It'd be nice to win, but it wasn't to be. So what that does, it just keeps everyone motivated, it keeps everyone nice and uh, nice and green going into the next game. Uh, but what that does, guys, oh, hang on a minute. There was some bafflement amongst the supporters that you seemingly refused to substitute Navarro for despite his clearly below par average. What is your response to this? Uh, I'm not going to say, uh, I'm not, <laughs> not going to put, it's none of their business as well because that's the fans. I am going to say he contributed effectively. I respect the fans enormously, but I am the manager. That's what I'm going to say. So guys, what that does, actually does put us into second place. It's just a swap round, really, between us and Doxa. Um, so now we go into the next game against Ammonia, who look who have just... Have Ammonia just lost? They have gone down in the table. They, they, they haven't played yet. They have gone down the table, though. They will probably play within this next... While I continue now to the next game. So, guys, let's play Ammonia at home in the next game and try and get that winning form back in. So, yeah, unfortunately, a defeat there, but it is what it is. So guys, on these episodes as well, it's always great to have your feedback as well. On episode one, I think it was, uh, we had a message from 
uh, a guy called Wilvard, a guy called Wilvard, and he asked me to look at two players and maybe scout them up and maybe look at them when the transfer window opens again. So the first one was, as you can see on the screen, Andre Wall, Andre Green, sorry, and uh, there's not that many attributes with him at the minute. Looks good. He, he looks good. He's good. Got a bit of history behind him as well. He's played at Charlton, Preston, and uh, of course he started off at Aston Villa. So what we're going to do, we're going to we're going to scout him. We're going to scout him, and then what we're going to do, we're going to come back uh, late on, on the next episode and let's see what his attributes are. Uh, the old, the other player as well was also uh, Jacob Ramsey. Jacob Ramsey, uh, Aston Villa under twenty threes. So let's have a look. So as you can see, there's a bit a bit of an Aston Villa vibe there, and also. Uh, as you know, that uh, uh, Hepburn Murphy's from Aston Villa as well originally. So, again, not a lot of attributes that we can see at the minute. Looks good, though, again. Looks good at acceleration, 50, between 15 and 20. Um, he's passing 10 to 17, 9 to 17 dribbling. So, he's got pretty good attributes in the, the required positions. Again, um, we can't really we can't really see that many. So, again, I'm going to scout him, and then we're going to come back to that in the next episode. So, thank you very much for the comment. And, guys, if, if you know anyone that we might be able to get hold of, remember, they need to be rather a free transfer or a loan that would potentially come to Paphos, then please get in touch uh, by commenting below and let us know what players you want to see in this Paphos side. So, guys, we are not playing Ammonia, actually. We're actually playing Hermes Aradepa, and... Aradepa are currently in 12th position at the minute, so we're actually going to go into this game quite attacking. Now, we're not going to play two up top at the minute, We're going to, we are, but we are going to change a lot of personnel around. So as you can see, Zay Carlos now goes in that right back position for two reasons. One, Azuri is actually injured now for two weeks, but he was also suspended. Because he got a yellow card in the last game, he got five yellow cards, which means he's suspended now anyway. So luckily, he is injured whilst he's whilst he suspended. Uh, we keep punching Velikari in there. I'm going to give him another chance without a doubt. Kusik still stays on that left. I thought he had a pretty good game last game. Unfortunately, we got beat though. Uh, four stays behind. Again, had a pretty good game. But as you can see, there's two changes now. We've got Barrigade, Barrigade on that uh, left, right hand side as an attacking winger. And then we've got Torres up top. Now, Barrigade can go up top without a doubt. Uh, and we're going to we're gonna change up that. What you'll also see as well, guys, is that we've got two players back now on the bench. We've got Sam Hutchinson. Um, and we've also got our new player, Jack Vale. He is still slightly injured, so I'm not going to rush him back. Might bring him on 10 minutes into uh, 10 minutes at the end of the game, but we'll see what happens. And also, guys, as you can see, we are going into this game attacking. So let's see how we get on. It's going to be a good game, this one. It's going to be a good game. We are at home as well, so uh, let's see if we can hopefully get that top spot again, depending on the uh, depending if Doxa uh, win theirs or not. We should be winning this fairly comes a bit. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna say that. I'm gonna say I have a good one out there instead. Um, and of course, I'm going with the uh, the make a difference shout. Uh, Jose uh, Oelio is suspended. How big absence will he be today? These things happen. Given Perry a lack of match fitness, how long can he last out there? He'll be alright. Don't worry about it. Don't you don't need to worry about that. Here we go, guys. Paphos versus Hermes. Arajore. So as you can see, guys, we have dropped into fourth at the minute, just because obviously other games as well, uh, other games that have played, but they've played eight, so we have got a game in hand on the on the, the rest of the minute. Here's Zay Carlos with a long throw. It's a long throw. It goes into Torres, comes back out to Camelo size. It's punching. Punching out to Velikare. It's Barrigade. Barrigade. Oh. Barrigade inside, unlucky. That's a great tackle from Velikare. But the referee doesn't like it. He jumps in, and it's a straight red card for Oni Velikare. Wow, guys, this is a. Uh... That is, that is a turn for the books, guys. Wowzers. I did not expect that. It looked like a very good tackle. What, what I will say about the... Uh, we're going to have to go some kind of diamond formation. Uh, a bit of a 4-2-2-1, really. Um, absolutely gutted about that, guys. A straight red card for oh, Valakara. Um, so, yeah, four can play in that midfield, uh, midfield centre position. So, we're just going to have to stick out as it is a minute. One up top. God, 14 minutes in, guys. Down to 10 men. It is not looking good here for Paphos at the minute. We're just going to go to positive instead of attacking. It's a free kick here. Can Punch and get a goal there? The 10 men. Punch and can he get the ball? And he does. He, he runs it out, though. He runs it out as if someone's injured. Okay, we're doing all right. We're doing okay. We're down to 10 men, of course, but we're doing okay. We are 
We are still getting the shots off. And we are getting the shots off. Come on, Paphos. Can 10 men Paphos beat the 11 men of Hermes? Pedro Lemos in here for Hermes, and it's a goal. It's a Suzoko there. Mamadou Suzoko with a uh, with a goal there for Hermes, which makes them 1 0. Oh, that was too easy. That Pedro Lopez, great ball in, to be fair. And he just peeled away. Who did he peel away from there? Zay Carlos. Peeled away from Zay Carlos. That is no tomorrow. Okay, we're gonna have to go to we're gonna have to go to tight marking. It's gonna obviously intensify us a little bit, and, and I get you know obviously with ten minutes it's gonna be tough. It really is gonna be tough. Little focus shout going out. Here's Punchin who's on a yellow card as well. Here's four four to Kusik. Kusik inside. Oh, came, nearly came to Barrigade there. Barrigade picks it up inside to four. Back to Barrigade. Inside to four. Four with a shot. Torres, is he offside? No, he's not. It's Marcelo Torres. Get in there. The, the guy on loan from Boca Juniors, Marcelo Torres, makes it one all. Come on, Paphos. Great little football there from Barrigade four. Four has a shot. Kind of Torres there. Love a little volley there. Keeps it. He was just going off line. Torres just spins it in, in line, inside that left-hand side post. Get in there, one all. Ten men, Paphos, come back. It's Roberto Diaz to Reynos of Hermes. Berrigade picks it up. Here's Berrigade. Berrigade, Berrigaud, how would you say that? How would you say his name in the uh, in the chat? <laughs> Let us know. Here's Villarenos. Villarenos to Punchin. Here's Kusik. Kusik to four. Four, out to Berrigade. Good little partnership then. Kevin Berrigade with a goal. Get in there. What a goal that was as well. Again, it's that four and Berrigade confirmation on that right-hand side. Four there in that midfield centre position doing very good here. Berrigade there. Didn't really, have the, didn't really have the audacity to take a shot, but he did. He just did. He thought, let's go for it. Beautiful, guys. So we've gone from attacking to positive because maybe attacking, they might count, count us on, uh, catch us on the counter. But, guys, I am very happy with that. Down to ten men. Very happy with that. Can the ten men have pathos? Take some points away here. Guys, come on, lads. We're a man down, but we still we still get a result here. There's no doubt about it. We're doing fantastic. I was very impressed. Keep it all impressed. Keep it happy. Keep it happy. Seem motivated. Let's just go into the second half. Positive. We're doing very well here. Very well. They've got like Sissoko and Rafinha. These, these sound like amazing players, but I don't think they are the players. I will double check, though. I don't think they are. 52 minutes in, guys. As you can see, guys, we are on top of them. The XG is quite poor on both sides, to be fair. Uh, but as you can see, the possession-wise, 60-40. We're doing absolutely fantastic. A little praise is going out, guys. A little praise is going out. Let's get these faces gleaming green. Come on, the boys. Maybe in the 70th minute, I might make a change in the 70th minute. It'll probably be up top. If we score now, we're definitely going to bring Jack Vale on. And it... It is, it's Kevin Berrigade again, get in there. His second goal of the season, absolutely fantastic. Listen, I'm I'm so happy with that. I am so happy with that. Get in there. Camelo size, little knock on. Kevin Berrigade, absolutely fantastic. Unbelievable, get in. 3-1 Paphos with 10 men. This is, this is crazy, guys. This is crazy. Okay, let's make some changes. So Torres is playing; he's having a great game to be fair, but he is only seven to be honest. So I'm going to bring him on, and we are going to bring young Jack Vale on. Now I know he's slightly injured, and it's, I know it's not the best thing to do. Don't get me wrong, but you know it's only forty minutes. Let's hope he doesn't get injured. Uh, I shouldn't really bring him on, but we are going to. We'll also put Dennis Recalls on that left hand side, and we'll also bring off Azure for not Sam Hutchinson, but we're going to bring off Ashley Williams. So it's a triple substitution. He's sent it four minutes. Guys, I'm so happy. 3 1. 10 men 3 1 against Hermes here. Here's Zay Carlos here as well. Here's 4. 4 to Zay Carlos. Here's Punchin. Punchin out to size. What can size do here? Here's Punchin. Love a little skill there. The Punchin's pulling out the skills now as well. Here's Rakels. Rakels inside. Here's 4 with a shot. 4 with a goal. Never on 4 on his birthday. Not 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 in the game, but today is his birthday. Get in there, never on four, you little beauty. Get in. We should encourage our players to try more long balls forward. Let's ignore that, guys. We're four and up. Let's just re let's just ignore it, guys. We are absolutely smoking it. Absolutely, it's unbelievable. This is it's unbelievable. 
What a result here, guys. This is up 10 men of Paphos. After 12 minutes as well, guys, Velikari got sent off. Wowzers, this is crazy. This is madness. Madness. We are still in that second place, though, really, on goal difference. Um, Lenasol are actually uh, top on goal difference. Which is strange, really, because we've scored four goals in this game, so they must be scoring quite a few goals, Lenasol. Here's Rafina. Rafina for Giorgio. For Hermes, and it gets knocked away. Here's Dennis Rakels. Not another goal, surely. Oh, it's a... And that's it, guys. That is it. It's full time, guys. 4 1. 10 men of Paphos beat Hermes at a deep poo. At a deep poo? At a deep I don't want to say poo, but anyway, it is 4 1, guys. I am absolutely buzzing with that. Absolutely buzzing with that. Mamadou to Sizoko. Let's have a look. No, no, it's not. It's not Sizoko, is it? Yeah. God, he's been around as well, and But, guys. I am absolutely buzzing with that. Look at that, 13 shots, only five on target, and four of them went in. So yeah, absolutely fantastic. Uh, XG of 1.23, again, not massive, but possession, 61%, 90% passes complete out of 561 passes. That is really, really good stats. 89% tackles won as well, which is even better. So guys, thank you very, very much for watching uh, this, this episode. It is much appreciated. It'd be even more appreciated if you click that subscribe button. If you did like today's video, then again, it'd be much appreciated as well if you hit the like button. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you. I'll take this uh, confidence now and I'll see you on the next episode. Thank you.